G'day, welcome back. So today we're gonna to look at doing remote grading. So at the moment I have a timeline here. Now this timeline is made up of course, different shots, many different shots. So we have a, looks to be a wide shot and then a mid and then a close up shot of a hand, etc., etc. you get the point. So now what we wanna do is we do wanna go through the grade and start doing the grade and matching it up, etc., etc. But there's one thing we can do to save us a lot of time and that is using a technique called remote grades. So what we do with remote grades is is that if we were to grade this shot here, it would grade this shot here and this shot here because they're the same clip, but they've just been cut up. So these three shots come from the same clip. Now, how do I see this? Well, there's a couple of ways we can do it. First of all, we can come down to this black magic raw part here and we can double click. Now that's gonna show us the clip name here. So A018, et cetera, et cetera. Look at the end, look at the end. These are all matching up. So these are the same clip. Now we can look at other clips here and we can look at, let's say this phone insert shot here. And again, these two match up. So if we were to do remote grades, then when we're grading this shot here, we're actually grading this shot here at the same time. Now to set up remote grades, it's extremely easy. All you have to do is right click on one of your clips here and then come up to use remote grades. At the moment we're in local grades, meaning we're just grading this one shot here but using remote grades, which is here, use remote grades, we get this little pink icon here, meaning that these shots are all matched up together. Now, if we click on this shot here, we can tell which ones it's linked up by this little pink icon. So these four shots are coming from the one clip. So how do we know what other shots are using remote grades? Again, very simple, just click on another clip. So this one here, and as you can see, it shows you that these two here are coming from the same clip. Let's do a remote grade really quickly. So anything I do in this node here is going to affect this clip here. So if I were to bring down the lift a little bit, maybe bring up some of the gain, bring down the gamma, push it towards warm just a little bit. And let's add some contrast. Let's change our pivot and then go down contrast and something like that looks pretty good. So now we have a very quickly graded shot. So we go across to our other one. We have that exact same grade on. Now to get a better example, we should probably do it in the wider one. So let's click onto a wider shot here. And again, they're all matched up. So we'll make some adjustments, bring down those black areas, bring up the gamma, bring it down, get a nice moody look going on. Let's push it towards warm a little bit. Get a nice golden window look. Let's add a little bit of green to those shadows and this warm it up in the mids. Bring it up just a little bit. Okay, so now we've created a strange look, but if we go across to other ones, as you can see, we have that exact look. Now, there is one thing to be careful of. That is if you turn off remote grades. So again, right click, use local grades. The grade you just did doesn't come across in any of those clips anymore. So if you've done a whole project and then suddenly you don't want to use it and you take it off, you no longer are using that grade. So be very careful with that. But if you just right click, go back to use remote grades, it's actually still saved in. But that is something to be careful of. Now, let's say that you like this grade on the remote grade, but you don't like it how it's affecting these other clips, maybe you wanna do something else in these other clips, you're doing a color transition or some kind of black and white transition. What you can do is let's say we want it on this clip here, but we don't want it on this clip here. You can use this clip here and you can grab the still. So come up to color, stills, grab the still. Now in your gallery, you have that look saved in. So again, if I turned off remote grades, so use local grades, what I could do is simply come up to our still that we saved, middle mouse click it, or you could do right click, apply grade. It's gonna do the exact same thing. Now you have that grade on, but your other clips don't have that grade on. So that's just a little bit of a heads up there just in case you get worried that you've lost that grade. Just go back into your remote grade, save the grade, and then you can copy it across. It is a very handy technique to know and a really, easy way just to speed up your grading if you're using the same clips 
that are made from one giant clip. I hope you found this enjoyable. If you have, thank you very much for watching. And I've been Drew and have a great day.